Hi folks, Steve here. I don't know if you noticed, but Rimstar.org, this YouTube channel, has just reached 1 million video views. And I have you to thank for that. So to thank you, I thought I'd give you a behind the scenes look at how these videos are made. You've actually seen this tabletop a great many times. Sometimes it's white, but as you can see, sometimes it can be blue or green or orange. I have some lights there in order to light it up, but uh, mostly I use sunlight. You've also seen some things built over there, especially with that uh, vise, and that's where I do a lot of construction, but also some filming. And of course you've also seen some things built with this backdrop right here. But what about this right here, all these books? You don't normally see all that. Well that's because I hang a cloth back there to hide it all. Sometimes it's white, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's green, as in a green screen. Notice this clamp right here, and it's holding onto this stick with a screw at the top. And there's another one right over there. What I do is I hang a rope between those two and then I drape whatever I want from there with that rope. Let me show you. And here's an example of where I use these backdrops to make it look like I'm sitting on one of my Van de Graaff generators. I first took a picture of my white backdrop, a large bed sheet, then another of my Van de Graaff generator against my green screen backdrop. That way I can make it any size I want. Then I filmed me in a sitting position also with my green screen. I then combined a three in my video editor to get the end result. Hi guys, I'm working on this massive video about how a Van de Graaff generator works. Not just one on the mechanical aspects of it. But... Now let's go look at my office where I edit all this software together. And in here is the office. All the editing is done. As well as uh, just a little bit of storage for various parts and things and stuff I built over the years and scraps and so on. Let's go look at the software. The movie editor I use is Sony Vegas uh, Movie Studio version 11. And I'll just bring up a current project I'm working on, which is uh, how to make a crystal radio video. Uh, one that a lot of people are waiting for. <laughs> and it's uh, coming along very nicely. I've got about a week's work left on it. So how it works in a video editor. You have all these tracks right here. Here I have two audio tracks at the bottom, and above that I have a bunch of video tracks. So I'll just show you the video tracks. So I'll just zoom in on this section right here. So what I've got is a nice 3D model that I'm building. Uh, that's right down here at the bottom, or in the background here, as you can see. Uh, overlaid on top of that, I've got this uh, real-life stuff, which is this part here. And then uh, what I call overlays, which are um, some transparent stuff. Uh, uh, text, arrows, um, lines, and stuff like that, just to highlight things in the video. Let me play this. It's are two cylinders made of aluminum foil. Between the cylinders is a non-electrically conductive material, in this case a piece of paper. To make it easier to visualize the electron flow in this hand... And there you can see the nice uh, 3D model that I'm working on. That's this track right here. And to make that model, I use Blender. Blender is a nice, uh, free, very powerful, well-supported uh, 3D modeling program. Here you can see the um, crystal radio circuit that I've made, a 3D model. And I'll just play it here. So you can see it has moving electrons, magnetic fields, and all sorts of things in there. Very nice model. Uh, let me show you another one. You might recognize this one. Uh, this is Pterodactyl. <laughs> I did the, use this one uh, for uh, my lifters video. And let's see if you can recognize this one right here. These are some fake batteries that I animated uh, for my um, uh, Jewel Thief video. So that's Blender. That's how I make 3D model for this particular video. Not all videos have 3D models, this one does. Um, now what about these overlays right here, these little pieces like this red rectangle and this red rectangle. Uh, for that I use Star Office. Actually it's uh, actually Open Office. I just happened to buy it from Sun in a package format. I don't know why. It's a habit. So these are the drawings I'm working on, the overlays for uh, how crystal radio works. And over here you see there's a whole bunch of them. And in fact there's the one right there. Um, that's for this part of the video. 
right here, as you can see. So somehow I had to create this thing right here, which is just a red rectangle with a transparent background that happens to match up with this capacitor plate on this thing I'm showing. Uh, so what I did was I first, in, uh, um, in uh, Sony Vegas, first thing I did was capture this right here, this still. Bring that into Star Office or Open Office and then um, position it somewhere and then draw the red rectangle. Then I get it out of the way and export this as a transparent GIF file. Uh, I've got a, a transparent rectangle right here as well so it gives it the right size. And therefore I end up with the clip that has the red rectangle with the transparent background and I overlay that on top of the 3D model. And this is the result. The cardboard in between. One of the plates can be moved so that the overlap between the two. There you go. What about something like this though? This is my How a Jewel Thief Works video. And in that video, there's just drawing after drawing after drawing after drawing after drawing after drawing, after drawing <laughs> and so forth. Well, those I also do in uh, Open Office or Star Office. Open Office is the one you should look for, that's the free one. Um, and I just draw drawing after drawing after drawing after drawing after drawing. And I just uh, snap them all as GIF files or export them all as GIF files. Bring them into my video, put them all together. I also separately record some audio and put those in the audio tracks and then line them up with the, uh, the drawings. So back to the transistor. When there's enough voltage across the base and emitter wire, electricity can now take both paths between the base and emitter and between the collector. And, and that's how that's done. Oh, and I should mention a few other pieces. I use GIMP, uh, which is kind of like Photoshop for some image manipulation, cropping, resizing, a little bit of brightening, color correction. And uh, SoundForge Audio Studio comes with Sony Vegas uh, Movie Studio, uh, Platinum Pro version. Uh, so I use that for some audio stuff. So I hope you enjoyed that brief glimpse into how I make my movies. And as always, thanks for watching. Not just this video, but all my videos. I'll try to keep making them as long as you're still interested in watching them. Here are some thumbnails you can click on to see some of my videos that I mentioned, including the one with me sitting on the Van de Graaff generator. Also the lifter video with the pterodactyl in it. Also the Jewel Thief video with the zombie batteries. And lastly, the How a Jewel Thief Works video that had the huge number of drawings made using OpenOffice. There are also links to them in the description below this video. And I've also included other links in the description below, like the links to some of the software I use. And thanks again for the 1 million views, and I hope to see you again soon.